Hello and welcome to the Golden America channel. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg has strongly criticized Donald Trump, accusing him of undermining the foundation of the transatlantic alliance. Stoltenberg's remarks came alongside the announcement that 18 NATO members are poised to surpass the target of spending more than 2% of GDP on defense. This isn't the first time Stoltenberg has rebuked the Republican frontrunner. Just days earlier, he chastised Trump for his comments made at a campaign rally, where Trump suggested he wouldn't protect NATO members failing to meet the 2% target, and even hinted at encouraging Russian aggression against them. Stoltenberg emphasized the importance of maintaining NATO's credibility and deterrence, stating, deterrence is in the mind of our adversaries. He warned against any actions that could lead to miscalculation or misunderstanding, particularly in Moscow. Germany's decision to allocate more than 2% of GDP to defense in 2024 marks a significant shift, signaling a departure from its previous stance as one of NATO's lowest military spenders. This change comes amidst heightened tensions following Russia's invasion of Ukraine, prompting a reevaluation of defense priorities across Europe. While some attribute Germany's shift to external pressures, including Trump's criticisms, German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius insists it's based on their own assessment and not influenced by external factors. Stoltenberg commended the increased defense spending across the alliance, noting a six-fold increase since 2014, with 18 allies now meeting the 2% target. This surge underscores NATO's collective response to growing security challenges, particularly in the face of Russian aggression. However, Stoltenberg cautioned against Europe going it alone on defense, emphasizing NATO's crucial role and the necessity of continued transatlantic cooperation. Despite calls for greater EU involvement in defense, Stoltenberg emphasized NATO's indispensable role, citing the majority of defense expenditures coming from non-EU NATO allies. As NATO continues to adapt to evolving security threats, Stoltenberg's statements underscore the importance of unity and collective defense in safeguarding the transatlantic alliance. If you've reached this point, thanks for watching, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more in our next video.